Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I want to ask you a question. You know people who say things like, I don't like that. Or I don't want to eat that. I can tell that's nasty. But they've never tasted it, have they? <laughs> Doesn't that drive you crazy when people do that? You can lay a beautiful feast out. I mean, it can be a spread. And everybody salivating, just waiting to chow down on that bad boy. And you got one little party pooper who's sitting there looking at the food saying, Oh no, I don't eat that. Well, why don't you eat it? Well, I've never tasted it and I don't like the way it looks. Why don't you... Give it a smell, a little sniff, and then take a little fork and give it a little taste. You can chase it with water if you decide you don't like it. Oh, no, no, no. I've never touched it. I don't intend to touch it. That's when you want to take your hands, wrap it around their neck, and choke them. Isn't that right? All right. Now, let me ask you a question. Some of you who want to say God is not real. God is not good. The Bible is full of lies. It's all a farce. It's all fake. Some of you even stretch far enough to say, the devil is wonderful. Really? Okay, let me ask you a question. Number one, have you ever experienced God one-on-one? -on -one? Have you ever felt his love? Number two. Now, number three is, have you ever felt his presence? Hmm. Yeah. Now, I have some other questions for you. Let's flip that coin. Have you ever been around a demon? Ah. Hmm. Have you ever felt evil around you, encroaching around you? Now, which one feels the best? Which one feels the worst? Now, here's my comment to you. If you have never experienced either or, if you have never experienced God or the devil, his love or demons, good or evil, how can you sit there and say what's what and who's who? You can't. You're like the person that won't try it. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, I ask you this. Before you draw a conclusion, walk one year with God. Read his word. Pray. Seek him. Invite Jesus into your heart. Ask him to forgive you for sin and then turn from your wicked ways and see which experience feels the most refreshing. The life you left behind you or the new life you're embarking on with God. Because you will never know if you never go. Try it. You actually just might, more than likely, like it.